Hello, welcome to Ghost Hunter, my name is BioEnchanted and we are going to be starting the final level this video. So let's start by fighting these ghosts that immediately spawned at the end of the last cutscene. These guys are uh, fairly easy, it's a nice kind of uh, introduction to the level, it's not giving you the really hard enemies yet, just a couple of blue spooks to deal with. But this one can be kind of annoying. Well, we are trapped in this room with it, so it can't really escape. It can go into these little side passages, which we'll have to chase it down into. And of course, as we go in, it'll try and escape out once again. It's kind of annoying, but it's an interesting visual area that I kind of like. But one major problem I have with this level, though, is it's very easy to get lost. Uh, in this part of the level, we're following the professor, so that won't really be a problem. But uh, in the next video, there will be a lot of these to cut out. So yeah, as we've heard the professor wants to come on, so let's follow him through these doors. Now that we've unlocked this room. A lot of this area was closed off with uh, large walls. As I suspect, so we can only really go in a particular line. You see here? The whole area is overrun. Okay. The base is self-sealing, so we'll have to clear out each section before we can progress. If we can get to the central shaft. We'll be able to bypass the security doors. So let's follow the professor further now that we've found out what we need to do. And that's Come suspicious. On. First of all, we're going to get a little more health. Because I want to not have to rely on the cheat I have enabled, so I want to make sure I at least have some health. Because I want to show at least that I have some skill at this game. <laughs> so, uh, let's go through this door and follow him again. May have noticed just a sheer wall over there. This area is kind of annoying because uh, all these corridors are very alike. And uh, while the, a lot of it is walled off, there's still a lot of uh, side areas that you yes. can get to that don't really lead anywhere. But really, just uh, if you lose Professor, it can be hard to work out which direction he's gone in. For example, down here, I'm coming down here because there is a health pickup, but that's literally all there is down here. But almost at max health again, so that was quite nice for this game to give us all that health immediately. Yeah, I like the way it paces that. It's a really, even up to this point of the game, it does really well with that. Probably because it knew you'd get your ass kicked by the previous boss. So let's go through this uh, decompression chamber or something like that, I guess. And take care of a few uh, black phantoms. Death Angels, that was the name. <laughs> this is particularly interesting, we will be seeing it a few different, from a few different perspectives. Here we're just fighting ghosts in it, and so we can move on. So let's just fight these guys. These guys are annoying in this room, because they can go behind those clear pipes, and you can't hit them from there, so they have a lot of hiding places, which can make whittling them down really irritating. This is probably the most annoying room to fight in in the game because of that. Because they just keep doing that and you have to just find the one that's in the open, latch onto it with a grenade and then just keep fighting and firing at it and hoping that it will just die and not do this and go wandering off again. I don't know the music sinks up the grenade there, that was kind of neat. <laughs> I do like the look of the lab despite it being easily uh, maze-like because it's at least a distinctive and interesting look and it looks like a functional building you'd actually find in something like besides the walled off areas that are kind of weird the fact that it has a, such a regular shape that you need to get lost in feels kind of realistic because a lot of buildings have that kind of shape or have a particular shape that they follow in a way So while there's some weirdness to it, it's got some kind of a similitude. Can you take this guy out? Almost done here now. There we are. Now let's follow him through this uh, next chamber. Yes. I guess he was excited to try and take care of them as I was.
this room is a little bit testy because uh, for reasons you'll see in a few seconds. Why I'm bringing out the grenades here. <laughs> you may have noticed from that sound effect we have ghosts, and these ghosts do a lot of damage. You may have noticed even more corpses as well. These are, in fact, the ghosts of the professor's colleagues, the lab workers that used to work here with the military, and now are dead. Because something obviously didn't go very well on that professor left. So let's try and take these guys down. The main problem these guys have is a few of them are on these ledgers, so it can be hard to hit them. And they, each individual hit, well, it doesn't do that much damage, they rapid fire. So it builds up very quickly, resulting in very low health very fast. So you need to be really careful here, as you can see, I'm already down to 34 health, and the fight's really only just started. Take care of this guy, he's actually come out in the open. Normally, what I have to do is just ignore him and go around the long way to get to him because um, he's normally not coming out in the open like he just did. That was very accommodating of him. Thank you very much. Got a little more health 15, but a little more. 10. Oh dear. Man, drop health, you asses. I've got plenty of ammo. The game's just being an arsehole right now. Let's take down this guy now. We haven't got much longer to go, just a few more things to deal with, and then we can move on. I do quite like that they're all wearing the same uniform and festivals, so that's an interesting little uh, artistic touch. And I do like that you can see their corpses scattered around as if they're only just. Uh, well, not just only just, but as yes. if they were uh, newly killed a couple of years ago and they've just been sat here watching since then. It's a bit a neat bit of visual storytelling because it never actually goes into it in game. It just kind of implies it with the visuals. So let's go up here first of all, because there's actually some stuff to collect up there. So let's just go get some more. Uh, see if we can find more health and ammo in this little area with the boxes. Well, ammo. That's a good start. Don't need it, but it's nice to have it. <laughs> it's like groceries, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. As long as you store it in the freezer and, I can, and not keep it out in the open like an idiot. Here we've got some more health from that, that was nice in the game. And a load more ammo. You may have noticed there is a revenant down there as well that's struggling to get out. I think the game lets you know that that thing exists before it becomes relevant, that's a neat thing. And it's a bit, it's a decent kind of uh, visual thing as well to have. Because of course they've been studying these ghosts, so of course they'll have ways of containing them that are relatively foolproof and fairly strong. So let's get to the upper level of this room using these convenient boxes. Time for a lot of clambering. <laughs> Shimmy along to the gap in the fence. I don't know why there were no stairs going up here. This seems like a poorly laid out room, but there we go. And a ladder? <laughs> First of all, I'm going to grab that health, just for safety. There we go. I love the grenades. So a really good uh, gameplay addition because you can just do that and not have to walk all the way down the featureless corridor. It's a really nice bit of uh, quality of life. I'll have a way to get here, so we have guessed we have something to do in here. This button. It opens that door, which is a problem. But let's see what else it did once we've taken care of this button. Really aren't much of a threat anymore. I did like the way they were introduced though in the game, but now they're just kind of a joke. <laughs> so it definitely makes you feel powerful being able to take them out so easily at this point in the game. Despite the fact that you're really not any more powerful than you were, you just have better weapons and better knowledge of how to use them. I 
can't drop that far, let's just keep going. <laughs> I wasn't trying to drop that, just just in the camera, so... Let's get back down there. And see what else was opened by that button. Well, nothing, but I don't know why uh, it took this long for this event to occur, but... It's just this weird kind of a scripting thing. It makes you push the button and fight the thing, and now something else will happen that we can we can also move on. The professor will open this up for us. I guess he just didn't trust the revenant to uh, the door to be able to hold that revenant. I guess. So let's head down here. You can give him the boot to the head. No. <laughs> This is a visually interesting room. It leads straight into the same corridors as before, so let's continue onwards. Follow me! But yeah, I quite like the being able to follow the professor all the way thing because it makes this heavier. This is a big area. It's linear, but it's big. Come on! That makes it tricky to navigate. A couple more blue switches to take care of. I think three in all. I can't remember. Two or three of them. No, no just two. <laughs> There's one and that one, I think. No, three. <laughs> no, the third one. I'm looking forward to that, but we can't see him. Hello! Yes. No hugging. Okay. Stop going to hugging mode so I can grenade you. There. It's annoying to spam that because when there's a smoke thing, the grenades just go right through them. I'm taking care of those now, so let's head down here. When it loads the elevator shaft. <laughs> there we are. Against the last of us, who's nervous, and who can blame him with about three revenants down here? If I recall correctly. At least this guy. He's going to be testing out the grenades again, and yeah, they're pathetic. The pistol's better than they do. But I figured I might as well try and use something different to keep things interesting. You also have very short range, as you can see the explosion is missing entirely. Yep, another two remnants here, that was six three and all. First I just ignored them and ran right past the glass. And again, I'm pretty much just using the grenades to use them at this point, it's not really any strategic point to them. I'm just kind of using them because I felt like they were something a bit different. They do a good chunk of health off, they're just not as impressive as they should be. Through here next and see what we can figure out. There's Professor. Lab room level 38i, it looked like that. Follow me! Take a look around, I know you're a curious man. I'm a cop. Isn't that you? Yes. The breakthroughs we were making in astral science were simply breathtaking, if I say so myself. And check out those flares. I should have known the intelligence room wasn't the place to bring you. You see the woman beside me? Um, wait a second. Yes, there. Uh huh. That's Kate Heller. Okay. A brilliant scientist. She was the real astral traveler. I think this must be the last film of her. A couple of days later, we undertook the experiment which led to her accident. Her body left all but lifeless, her spirit trapped in the astral form you know so well. She fused with me just as she's now fused with you. Our goal then was to recombine her body and spirit, but at the same time, we were making brilliant progress in our work. So the accident was the real start of ghost hunting. I bet you were king of the base. 
I, I was promoted. <laughs> Screw the promotion. Promotions for the likes of me. All this stuff should get you some sort of a Nobel Prize. Hey, yeah, all that free publicity is just what a secret base is looking for. But seriously, um, Lazarus, some of my work, or the way they were planning to use it, I, I wouldn't choose to dine out on. Hey, what are these things? There were all sorts of specialist departments about the base. See here, um, one group was working on what they called the Zero Bomb. Not trapping ghosts, but totally obliterating them. We must get going now, but here, Lazarus, uh, this is what I wanted you to see. They never thought I could access this, and it's why I had to leave the base. What started out as no more than an interesting specimen grew to become king of the base, as you'd say. He made the military leaders an offer. Gentlemen, you will never achieve your goals as things stand. The professor is merely competent, incapable of the ultimate prize. Why? Because he is a weak man, a civilian. He has too many scruples. Grant me the body of Kane Heller, Grant me the right to properly exploit Professor Richmond, all on my own terms, and I will deliver domination of your enemies for all eternity. I will be your night protector. How well do you know the military, Lazarus? It would have been the end of Kate Heller, and who knows what they had in store for me. So you scooted with the body of Miss Heller? Became Professor Brooke of Matse High. And Ghost Hunter. Let's go to work. Yeah, the plot of this level becomes a complete train wreck. Uh, it brings up all these plot points throughout the game, like the Parliament and all that lot, but they barely come up. The Parliament basically only appeared in that one cutscene, and now they are completely irrelevant. Now it's just us versus the military in Hoxmoor. This is why I have a feeling that as the game went on, the development times and stuff, I had a feeling there was probably a big crunch and they probably have to cut a lot of this level out. A lot of stuff maybe even beyond it that they were planning on doing with the game's story. Because it really falls apart in this level. There's still some interesting aspects to it. It kind of feels like they had a load of cool gimmicks for the final level, but didn't think, but weren't able to string them together, so just didn't bother them, just kind of shoved all the gimmicks together to uh, make an interesting uh, set piece of because they were cool. And I appreciate that they did that because some of the things coming up are actually pretty fun, but again, there is nothing to tie them together. This is pretty much the string and chewing gum section of the game. It's still fun, but it's just not nearly as strong narratively as the other levels were. And this is an example of the weirdness. This is obviously a big foreshadowing for the final boss area, with this big the castle hooks more right in the middle of somehow floating in the middle of a military base, I guess. A bunch of ammo with a bunch of pickups for every kind of thing you can get, including health. But yeah, we will never actually go in there. Castle Hawksmoor is completely irrelevant outside of being Hawksmoor's home. Uh, which is a shame because I like the design of it. It looks really cool, and I like the way it kind of is merged with the mechanics of the base. With that little mach bit of machinery all over it, that kind of thing, like down in that corner there. It's just a shame they don't really do anything with it. It could have been an interesting looking uh, arena, that kind of stuff. I'm just going to go straight past it, though, picking up all this ammo and stuff. We'll see what happens beyond here. Let's push the button. And continue on through here. No, 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 man. I don't like this at all. Face it, we're trapped. If we could override the computer? Don't look at me. Now, wait a minute. What about our computer buddy? Maybe he can help. Indeed, I could, Officer Jones. It is a risk, but entirely necessary. Try to download me into the computer terminal. I may be able to override the lock system. I guess it's our only option.
Thank you, Professor. And since I always keep my word, get out while you still can. Why, Richmond? A necessary subterfuge on my part, I'm afraid. Say that again and look me in the eyes. Betrayal. My own final sensation. A hollow, unsatisfying fury I found. Allow me to add a sprinkling of humiliation. It's not even you I'm after. Look at you, searching for escape. Even now you're thinking, my gun, my weapons, my friends, there must be a way. There is no way. You see, this is the moment the living wake, when they realize there's no one to pull them from the burning cup, or save them from the stranger with a sparkling blade. The moment I know, squandered lives, thinking there's always tomorrow, there's always a way. And then the fear as the blade sinks in, the fire burns, the bullet hits her. All very poetic, but what is it you actually want? Huh. You're keen, aren't you? Keep him talking, keep thinking. I've taken what I want from you, the Chosen, and with her I'm taking life. And the ghosts you've captured from them, I'm taking power. Steal! Steal! I've lived off these moments for a hundred years. This is the version I adore, the story before the come. Steal! Your fate is in your partner's hands. I promise you to her. But you're... You're controlling her. Am I? Oh, well, that's not very sporting. Lazarus! Steal, don't do it. Keep thinking. Think for yourself. Just keep thinking, okay? Throw me your gun. He's in here somewhere. Quickly, throw me your gun! No, Steel! That was certainly an abrupt ending. There is evil in the world that cannot be seen, and someone must defeat it. Mission objective clear. Eradicate all ghosts in military base. 23% probability of succeeding. Proceed. Now we're a military cyborg, fuck yes! I'll see you next time as we tear the shit out of this base!